Michael's very courageous. He's the courage angel, but the courage of what we need today is a courage of cognition. Right. There is a lot of break the trend. Comedies of right. cognition. People say, "Oh, I don't want to know this." There is oh, not. I would say people are losing their minds. Even worse. Yeah. And the trance. We're in the trance. Do you mean the gender thing or what? Well, you know, I th well, I think there's a tremendous amount of entrainment and mind control. Yeah. And propaganda, and yeah. but, you know, but there's a madness. It's a madness, and the Arimanic powers. Michael has one great enemy, that is Ariman. Mm -hmm. This is on a medium range in the spiritual world, if you like. When you go right. high up, there is unity, there is harmony. That's very important mm -hmm. to see that. But there is a spiritual battle behind our time. They were aware in Shatra, you know. Alana Sabinsoli has written a great book called, well, the, the title is, is, is not important, um, misleading. The theme is how to make a new human being for the future. And there was a council, a spiritual council, talking about this. Mm -hmm. And Michael comes in at the end, but he has also the idea there was a counter council, subterranean with the Arimanic forces right. already in the 12th century, the new, there will be a great impulse, a Michaelic, for renewing the human being. But there is a counter impulse from the Arimanic forces. Right. That's the, for me, I mean, you know all about these economic uh, lies and political battles, but the basic battle, and you know about the this spiritual. as well, is a spiritual yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need courage of, Cognition. Yeah, Michael allows you to think so clearly yes. and powerfully. Yes. No matter what. Yes, no right. matter what. But many it's people. It's like a sword. Some, yes. Yeah. But many it's people, like a mental sword. Yeah, I totally agree. Right. So that's wonderful that they have out of this background this a figure like Gideon, you know? Right. And it's just one little detail. Now, this was the huge insight that I never had was that Michael was the presence at the story of Gideon. Yeah. So tell us about that. Well, he was the leading. A time spirit has sometimes before another task to be the spirit of a folk. Right. And Michael was the leading spirit of the Jewish people. Right. For centuries. Right. And um, at the time of Gideon, he was the folk spirit. Right. Already at the time of um, which Joseph. makes sense because of course. because if you listen to the story of Gideon, and I would just encourage anybody listening to this to go back and hear our interview, but if you listen to the story of Gideon, you're talking about someone with a relatively small group of people achieving an extraordinary victory with through ex very high integrity. Yeah. So you need that. Yeah. Courage, and you need that clarity, and you need the ability to cut right through the trance. You need the courage to be a minority, so to speak. <laughs> exactly. And, and nothing, you're failing because you're only few. On the contrary, yeah. their homeopathic concentration can be much higher. Yes. That's why we shouldn't uh, strive to have as many people as possible in an audience, but the right ones. When I was an investment advisor, many of my clients wanted me to help them come up with a plan to protect them against risk. And you need this money to protect against that risk and this money to protect against that risk. And finally, what I, I kept trying to communicate was in a world where risk is rising and you have a spiritual warfare, the first way to protect against risk is to have spiritual protection. And that is the most efficient kind of you know, because spirit, if you have spiritual protection, if you need to the move to the right, you'll move to the right. You'll yeah. know to move. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's a source of intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you have a wonderful story on spiritual protection that I want you to tell, because it's such a great example of this. Many stories. Which one do you know? The one about the man in the bed. Oh. The man in the bed. <laughs> she picks up stories that are three days old, and then I have to tell them. <laughs> okay, fine. This is a wonderful story. It comes yeah, from it a is. Norwegian man who was a, a Waldorf teacher. A man comes home 
tired, opens the first door of his small apartment, goes in, opens the second door to his bedroom, shrieks back because someone is in his bed lying. And who is this someone? He himself. And he can't believe his sight. He goes out, closes the door, thinks maybe he makes like that, you know, am I, am I okay? Am I dreaming? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not dreaming. So he makes another go very, very cautiously, opens the door again, looks at the bed. The man is still there. He is lying in the bed. That's enough. He closes the, board, the door probably very quickly, goes to a friend and says, dear so-and-so, have you got a place to stay for me tonight? He doesn't say more. Of course, come in, come in. Maybe he has a coffee or something. And the next morning they have breakfast. Then the, the one who comes to his friend says, can you please come accompany me to my home? And then he starts giving hints, but not the full story. They go in, he opens the door again very cautiously, and then he sees on this bed was a huge oven collapsing in the night. And it is totally clear to both men, he would have been dead in the morning if he would have stayed in the bed with this right. man, that would have been possible. This was. Right. So that shows, of course, uh, protection. The question is, who fabricated his double, so to speak, there to protect him? The angel, I don't know. But that could be a... I don't know. It's, you know, it's I've, wonderful. I've experienced spiritual protection so many times yeah, yeah, yeah. that I don't, I can't tell you where it comes from. All I know is it's real. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, if you have it, you know, there's not enough money in the world to protect you in the way that it can protect you. Of course. Yeah. Money can only protect you to a certain degree and that's the end. Mm -hmm.